What's going on guys? So a lot of people have asked about this low voltage cutoff right here compared to the cheap one that everybody's been running. These have a big issue with this inductor coil breaking and when it breaks, it's pretty much shot. And the price of these used to be really cheap. You can still get them really cheap on Ally Express and Alibaba. Uh, and there's a couple different models, but any one that looks like this is pretty much a throwaway item. You wanna buy at least two or three of them. Now there's this model, which we call the purple model. So I build boom boxes on this channel, but we also have this blue one. This is my favorite, but we'll talk about that in a separate video. So a lot of people want to know how to hook up and set this one right here. This is about $16 and it is a, uh, a, nice, a nice model compared to that cheap one back there. You can see just from the relay, it's built for higher power. Uh, this one is, I believe, 40 volts. Nope, 40 amps up to 240 volts. Okay. So we're using it for a DeWalt battery setup right now. This battery is almost dead. We're showing 18 volts. Let's see if I can get it to focus. All right. So we have automatic and manual mode. When Automatic mode is on. When this hits its set point at 60 seconds, the light will cut out and it won't draw no more power. In manual, as soon as it hits that set point, it'll die. You have your reset button right here for when it does die and you put a new battery in. Sometimes you'll have to hit that. We have three, we have a switch here and a switch here. Obviously this one's automatic and manual. The switch over here is known as switch three. It's MVT. So, Mode, and it, it tells you on the back. So we have work mode set, voltage threshold, and then delay start. We don't need to worry about the delay start in our case, but if you did, that's what you would go to. So we're going to go to set, um, we're going to set the M, which is the work. So we're going to switch to one and hit set. We're gonna to go to the voltage. And that display voltage is what it's reading. Now, if that's off, you can change that as well. But what we're gonna do is hit the up button and you're gonna see CH. And that's gonna be the uh, like the charge, what it resets to. If you hit it again, it'd be CL, that's your low point. So we're gonna we're gonna to go to that low point. Hold on. So CL, we're gonna hit set, which is the left button. Up is the next button over. We're going to set that to 17.8, hit set. We're going to go back up the, the charge reset, and we're going to hit set. i raise that to 17.9. And you don't want to have them the same because it'll go click back and forth while it's on that voltage. So we're at 18 volts. We'll go ahead and plug in some LEDs really quick and let that voltage drop down a little bit. Oops. Like I said, on the threshold for um, the time delay, we're not gonna set that. So we're just gonna be at zero. So here we are, we're at 18 volts. Let me go ahead and I'll speed it up. You know what, instead of doing a time lapse, we'll set it again so I can show y'all that process and make it easy. So we're gonna change this CH. We're gonna set that to 18. And we're going to come back to CL. And we're going to set that to 17.9. And now it will die a little bit faster for us. So as soon as it actually takes that 17.9, those lights will cut off. Guess I should have picked some stronger lights. You know what? I'll just, uh... oh, there it goes, 17. So it just cut off and it's at the threshold. So it is gonna cut on again, but normally you would draw a little bit more power than these LEDs. These are a five volt LED, so. That's what I was saying. You want your CH higher. So if my CH is 18, I should have put it at 
So if I take and change that really quick to 18.1, now they'll stay off. So after 60 seconds, this will cut off and you're good to go. Now, DeWalt batteries, I don't have one almost dead, but you would set the voltage. You're going to see the voltage at full charge at 20 to 21. So you want to test that with a multimeter. And at full discharge, 15.3 is what you want. A safer limit would be 15.5. But that's how you set it, guys. Like I said, automatic mode, 60 seconds, this display will shut off. Manual mode, it's going to shut off, and you will have to hit the reset button when you put a new battery in. So that's all there is to it, guys. This can be used for charging or for discharge. In this case, obviously, we're discharging to some LED lights. If you are hooking up a charger, when it reached that low threshold, the charger would kick on, send power through here, and be good to go. Now, this is actually a pretty good module for adding to boom boxes if you want to add um, a charger all the time. You could easily, there's the LED we just went out. So this thing is drawing no power now, which is nice. Um, and you can hit, um, you can hit the set button if you want to pop the display back up. I couldn't remember what button it was. But um, there is a red LED indicator here. If you don't think you're getting power out for some reason, check that. If that is not on, it means you don't have power passing through. Now you could set, uh, say you're using this to charge RC cars, you're using it to charge a boombox battery, whatever. You could set this up the same way, except you won't use power tool batteries because you don't want to DC charge power tool batteries. But thanks for watching guys. Hope that explained a little bit to you. Um, if you have any questions, comment below.